Dr. Paul here. We've got some really special ears to take a look at. Come on and see. No capture dogs. We don't remember the words. Or rhinoceroses. Only hippopotamus will do. Did you know that when I was a kid, I was in Africa and we went camping and there were a bunch of hippopotamuses. What? I, do they call them hippopotamuses or hippopotami? I don't know. <laughs> and they go, rrr, rrr, Oh, rrr. we were just talking about that. We were That's wondering the sound what they sound they make. That's the sound they, they make. make. I thought maybe they'd make pig noises, but. So, <laughs> that's. And, whoa. There. Oh, oh my look gosh. Look at that. <gasps> look at that. Let me see. Okay. okay. So, turn your head. Can I turn this first? Sure. Let me get let me get on this side of you. Yeah. All right, and we'll try to get a picture of that. Wow! Look wow! At that. That's Isn't the inside that of cool? your ear. And it's bulging yeah. and it's red. Oh, oh, Let's oh, look at better. the other side. We'll look at this side. This one's not as bad. I think. Oh, it's actually bulging more. Yeah. See that? See all that? That's the it's pressure. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's that. great. And look at you have your earwax in there. Yeah, that's actually very little. Most people have way more wax than that. She has really clean ears. Actually. Very clean ears. Yeah. Okay, so let's move look this. Look at that. That's let's like magic. Let's move this over to Isn't this it? side and look at it up from that side. And we'll look at your other ear. Look at that ear. Wow, look, look at, at that. that. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Okay. Do you want to see a picture of what a healthy one, one looks like when it's not hurting? Show, shall we show mom's ear? Oh. You want to see mommy's ear? <laughs> Watch. Just for Look fun. Look at mommy's ear so you can see a healthy ear. Let's see here. Do, do, do. There it is down there. See how it's, it's a gray. totally different color? Yeah. Totally gray. Here. Let's see if I can do <laughs> mine. This buddy. There it is. And that's why your ear hurts, honey. Yeah. You were good. You did a good job to come down and tell mommy that last you night. You sure did. Good job, Skylar. Good job. High five. Thumbs up. High five. Pound. Oh. <laughs> tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Hippo tickle. We'll do a hippo tickle. So I understand she's had a cold for about 10 days. Yes. Congested. Yes. And then last night started having a lot of pain. Yes, just out of nowhere. Okay. So out of nowhere, bam. Bam. Very good. So folks, uh, what we have here is a classic story of what you get with an ear infection, which is generally congestion. And in the context of congestion, if you'll follow me over to this picture here, when your nose is congested, you get a lot of mucus and it blocks the eustachian tube. And then bacteria crawl up, set up shop right behind the eardrum that we were just looking at. And you have pus, pressure, bulging, and that's where you get that red, painful ear. And that's otitis media. And we want to thank our special patient today for letting us take a good look at your ears. Thank you very much. You did a really good job. You're welcome, Dr. Yeah. Thomas. All right. And of course, uh, we're going to have the option of antibiotics. Ear infections can get better without antibiotics, but when it's really severe and you're in a lot of pain, antibiotics do reduce the pain significantly. You get better quicker. It's a reasonable option uh, when it's severe. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.